Hello, hello, it's Tuesday. Time for another healthy meal. This one is called the Hawaiian barbecue chicken bowl. So right now I have my chicken all cut up and it's frying with the red onion. Um, I'm doing a little bit different than what they asked for because I like to be a rebel. <laughs> now I really don't like hard onions in my food. So then it's asked for two peppers. So I'm going to add that to it. Jack's not cooking today because his arm hurts. So, And a can of pineapple. I'm going to give that a little bit of a turn here. Should probably use my bigger pan, huh? That probably would have been a smarter idea. Not too late, you know. <laughs> Let's go to a bigger pan. So that way you guys can see it too. All right. Now you guys can see it. Isn't that nice? So you're gonna just kind of keep softening up your vegetables. And then the kicker is barbecue sauce. <laughs> you know what's really funny? I don't very seldom ever eat barbecue chicken, but I do eat food that I have barbecue sauce in. So let's see if we got enough there. So how's you guys' this day been? Hopefully it's been a good day. Um, we're going to have that homemade blueberry pie tonight for, for dessert. Because there was two jars that I didn't have room for canning. You know, because our cookers only take um, seven. And I got nine quarts. So me and Jack both made um, a blueberry pie today. some more in there. This looks so delightful. And I'm just warming up my um, my rice because I do all my rice in my Instapot. And then I freeze it until I need it. So I am um, in the Instapot. I don't know if you've ever done it. But it's one and a quarter cups of water for every cup of um, rice. So if you're only doing one cup, it'd be one cup of rice, one and a quarter cups of water. And then how I do mine actually is I cook it um, for three minutes and then I let it naturally come down for 10. And then I, um, but I do like four or five cups at a time. And then when that's done, then I um, let it cool down and I put it in the freezer in my bags and shrink it down there so that it sits very, very small like this and it takes up very little room in your freezer. And that way when you want something with rice, it only takes just a minute to get it ready. All right, so we're going to give this a couple minutes to simmer and then I will bring you back with a finished plate. We'll see you in a minute, guys. Alrighty, so it's all ready. So when I plate up a meal, I'm actually plating up three because it's for me and Tom and then I do our um, his lunch for the next day. So this one's going to be mine. And you guys, this smells and looks delicious. Really delicious. And this is what we have. So you can mix it in with your rice or, you know, if you wanted to do it with potatoes or anything else that you wanted to put it with, it would be fine. Um, it's really, really good. Actually, I have made this one before and Tom really enjoys it as well. But um, chicken breast and your vegetables, and I'm sure that you could add 
You know, I didn't even think about that. You could add broccoli to it or um, green beans or anything. Oh, that'd be really good probably. But with our gardens coming up, you know, we could probably put a lot of different things in there. And it's healthy. So there's our meal for today. Enjoy it. I hope you try it. Let me know if you do. And if you would, please like, share, and subscribe if you find it in your heart. I'm at 117 and I'd really like to get up higher. But I want you to please promise to be a blessing to someone today, even if it's just a smile. You have a blessed day.